Hello again. So welcome back to part two of how to look after orchids. This is only a little short bit really. So the orchids have been soaking for an hour. Um, I'm just gonna whoo, show you. Can you see that? I don't know if that's, can you see? So they're all nice and all the uh, bark now has absorbed. Oh, where, I'm sure I wanna show you that. This one here, where is it, here, over here. Oh, I can't angle it correctly, there we go. So you can see that all the bark has now absorbed all the water and gone all dark. I'll just put you back on the windowsill. There we go. There, hi. So then literally all you've got to do is just tip the water out. This is really important though, if you leave the water in, they'll just die. You have to tip the water out after they've soaked for an hour. So uh, I guess I'll just you along a little bit. There we go. So you just take your orchid like this and you've got to let all the water drain out. So I'm just going to pour this water out of the pot like that and you've got to make sure all the water comes out of the orchid. So there are little holes in the bottom so if you hold it like this on an angle for a while um, all the water will drain out. Just making sure that the majority of the water is out like this. And what will happen is that the bark, which has absorbed lots of the water, will gradually sort of, um, with the heat around it, it'll gradually sort of evaporate. The water will evaporate from it throughout the week. And it keeps the plant moist without it being wet. So you mustn't let it sit in water because that will just kill it. So that's one done. Put that back on the windowsill. And then there's my favourite new one, the pretty one. Uh, get him all he doesn't want to come out of his pot. There we go. So that's all out of that one. Oops, this needs a new pot, this one I think. It's got a little split in it. So just make sure that most of it's out. There we go. Nearly all of it, or most of it. That one's done. And I'm just going to drain that in here, I think, actually, in the little mini sink bit. Right, there we go. That's empty now. I'm just getting the excess out of this one. Do, 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 do. There we go, that's that one done. And um, I'm trying to find a nice example. This one's quite good, really. I think I'll show you this one. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but if you look closely at where the um, roots are by the base here, you can see that they've gone really nice dark green um, instead of being sort of dusty green colour that they were before. That means they're nice and they've absorbed lots of water, so that's a good thing. They'll be quite happy for the week now. Um, then there's this one. Got a lot of orchids. And that's literally it. And then you just leave them until next week and then you soak them again. Another time I'll show you what you do when all the flowers, because every so often all the flowers fall off and they're just a stick then. Um, and what you do then is you have to trim the stick down a little bit and it'll encourage the flowers to grow back. But I can't show you that at the moment because they've all got flowers. So <laughs> when, they, when one of them loses all its flowers, I'll be able to show you what to do then. You can see all the roots are all nice and juicy and green now because they've absorbed all that water. This one needs repotting fairly soon. Oh yes, I already told you that one needs repotting, didn't I? I think so. So that one's done. Two more. So then there's the pink one. The one that's climbing out of its pot. Obviously it won't take you as long if you've only got one orchid. I mean, I've got thousands of the things, so <laughs> it takes me a little bit longer. There's that one. And then the last one oh, is this one. Just a bit 
try not to drop the pot everywhere. There we go. Pot's empty. And I've just got to make sure that the orchids drain nicely. Can you see all that water running out? That's why it's important to hold it at an angle to get all the water out. Well, most of it. There, we go. there, done. So they'll be quite happy now. I'll pop them back on their windowsill where they live. And they'll be quite happy now for the next week. And um, I'll update you when anything exciting happens in Orchid World. Thanks for watching. Bye.